What's up, y'all? Y'all know I don't use be on this, but today I had a weird ass dream happen in the morning. You know what I'm saying? So the dream was, I guess I got kicked out of one of my relatives' house, or I got in an altercation probably with them. I don't know who it was. It was kind of crazy because I couldn't see their face, but I was yelling at them and telling them. And it was a voice that I did not recognize. It wasn't my mama. It wasn't my sister. It was none of my family members. But it was just a voice was telling me. It was like, you know what I'm saying? I guess I was feeling like I was being treated wrong. And I was in my in a dream. I was like, man, fuck this shit. I don't need this shit. I can live on my own, man. I got my own money. I can pay rent. I can do, you no, know, I can do shit by myself. You know what I'm saying? Basically, I guess the person was telling me, you ain't going to never make it on your own, this, this, and that. But that ain't part of the story, the craziness of the story. So I goes out, pack my shit, I'm gone, and trying to look for a place to stay and shit like that. So I go into a store, and this dude, random dude, was like, "Um, what's wrong with you? Would you just not move here or something? I was like, nah, man, I'm just about to, you know, find a hotel or something. You know, me and my family, you know, we fell out or whatever. He's like, okay, you can move with me. I'm like, I'm just looking at the wheel. I'm like, you f- for real? You know what I'm saying? I pay rent and stuff like that. And he was like, yeah, nigga, you gonna pay rent. Nigga, this ain't no free ride. I'm like, you know, I'm laughing. He's like, I'm serious and shit like that. So he shows me he had a three-family flat. It was a three-family flat. You got the downstairs, the upstairs, and another upstairs. I'm about to continue on with the story. So he said, you gonna be in this basement. So um, we in the basement... I put my stuff down. I'm tired. I went to sleep. He got his friends coming down. He like, who the fuck is this dude? Uh, Who the fuck is this dude in y'all basement sleep? We don't even know this dude. So basically, I'm pretending I'm asleep. I'm hearing them. I was actually asleep, but they woke me up. But I'm pretending I'm asleep. I got the cover on my head. And I'm hearing what they saying. Like, you don't even know this nigga like that. Why you got this dude here, this, this, and that? He probably can steal all your shit. He said, yo, man. Uh, he say... He just paid me rent, this, this, and that. And I'm just going to go, with, you know, it's my house, it's my shit. And, you know, I, I make the rules around here. If y'all, is y'all going to pay his rent or, you know, this, this, and that, shut the fuck up. And stuff like that. So, Duke had visited me. I went back outside. Duke had visited me to make sure I was okay or whatever. He like, you straight? He said, where you living at? I saw, I, I saw you had an altercation, you know, with the family or whatever. I'm like, yeah, man, I had to get the fuck out of there, man. They tripping. I can have, I'm going to show them I can handle on my own and shit like that. He like, for sure, you know, if you need anything, you know, I got you and shit like that. You know, you always can move with me. I'm like, I'm good. I got a place to stay as long as I can, you know, I'm going to get me a job, you know, try to get back on my feet and shit like that. So apparently, I guess I had some money in my pocket, but I did not know how much it was. So we went to the store and the dude, okay, we got to rewind, I got to rewind a little bit back. So... As his friends kind of fussing and talking and getting getting at him about who the fuck is this dude and this, this, and that. So, I heard them talking about a party. He supposed to be throwing a party. He's like, you throw, we supposed to be throwing a party. You like, motherfucker, you know, nah, black people is talking about. You like this bum ass nigga. You don't know, you know, we came from this and this. You know what I'm saying? He better not come to the party and shit like that. So, I'm ignoring it and shit. And like, okay. Ignoring, and ignoring it and shit and stuff like that. Excuse my slurs. So, like, back when I said, okay, back to the part with the store. He said, all right, man, roll with me. We can go to, no, he didn't say roll with me. So, we, uh, my brother Duke said, we about to go to the store. So, my man was like, all right, I'm about to go with y'all. I got to get some stuff for the party and shit like that. Now, he getting stuff for the party and shit like that. We goes back home. Now, this would it gets weird. We goes upstairs in the hallway. It's like a little dark little hallway. It look ghetto-ish, you know what I'm saying? Not... Look halfway done and shit like that. So we step up on the third floor of the three family flat or whatever. So we like, oh, I'm like, oh shit, it's another part. It's another room right here. It look like another section of a house and shit. So me and my brother was like, man, you should get this one instead of you just living down in the basement and shit. So he comes outside and shit like that. So Duke was like, hey man, you got another section up here. You should let my brother, you know. You no, know, rent this out and shit like that. He's like, nah, man, we having a party, this, this, and that. So not knowing his homeboy, I don't know how fast, I don't know how to, you know how dreams is weird. So his homeboys was up there too. 
So we kind of got in the altercation. Uh, altercation. We was like, man, for real, man. You know what I'm saying? I got the money. You know what I'm saying? This, this, and that. He like, I'm not giving you the fucking room. And I said, that's what the fuck I said and shit like that. So his homeboy was like something. I forgot what his name was. You straight? He's like, yeah, I'm good. He's like, like my homeboy said, he not giving you the uh, fucking room. You know how black people be all hostile and shit. He's like, you're not getting a fucking room, period. And shit like that. I'm like, who the fuck is you? This, this, and that. So, after we get in the altercation, somebody else coming up the motherfucking steps. Now, this part, when it's about to get weird. Because I did not listen to a song by this person. I did not watch him on YouTube. I did not see his face. Probably yesterday. I didn't see his face at all yesterday or today. I ain't even listened to this person music. But long and behold, Nipsey fucking Hustle comes up the steps. Nipsey Hustle was in my damn dream. Continue with the story. So Nipsey Hustle was wearing this goddamn Y'all know Kill Bill, right? When she was wearing kind of like the Bruce Lee. Okay, I can I can say that. The Bruce Lee outfit with the black little strip. Look like Adidas strips, but it's like a bodysuit. Look, it looked like a Adidas suit, but it looked like it was his um, it was his brand. I think it was the uh, Victory Light clothing or whatever you know, because you know Nipsey Hussle had clothing a clothing line, whatever it called. But he had that on, but he had like a blue suit on, looked like a Adidas suit. So he came up there with the fresh little cornrows, blend in his hand. You know what I'm saying? Walking up the street, he I mean walking up the street, walking up the steps, and he like, what up, cuz? What y'all, what up, man? You know, we, we came for this party. He had goddamn blunt smoking good gas. You know what I'm saying? Just smoking good gas and shit like that. So he like, what's up? You know, he gave an ad by your five and he not, not knowing us and shit. So he's like, what's going on? What's up with the party and shit like that? So he like, man, you know, you know, he didn't ever call him Nipsey Hussle. You know what I'm saying? We know who he was, but we did not mention his name. We did not say, oh shit, what's up? Nip or what, what's up, Nipsey Hussle? Like, I didn't get excited and say, oh, shit, that's Nipsey Hussle. That's how I know this dream was kind of, it was kind of odd. So we sitting on the, we sitting on the steps. They, he passing the blunt around. Like, like Snoop Dogg said, he's very, he's very talkative. He's very, to get you, you know, he's very positive. So he on the steps, he like, for real, cuz, I think y'all should, um, y'all need to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't give a fuck about us. You know, straight being politic. You know what I'm saying? Being it. You know, these motherfucking black people don't care about us because, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it, the dick riding ass people that he with, for, you know, passing the blunt around. For sure, for sure. I feel you. I feel you, dog. You know what I'm saying? For, he like, no, nah, for real. He get what I'm saying. And my my brother Duke now, he's like, yeah, I feel you. But, you know, when the time come, the time come. He's like, for real. And he pointed at me. He like, little homie, get what I'm saying? He like, you. I'm like, me? He like, I'm telling you, bro. Do this. Invest in yourself. You you, you look like you smart and this, this, and that. He said, this is what you need to invest. Yo, you should make a restaurant. You should, um, yeah, you should uh, invest in the restaurants. But I want you to have eggs, grits, and steak. Man, me and my brother looked at Nipsey was like, Nigga, what? He like, I'm serious. You need to invest in a restaurant. I'm sorry. In a restaurant with eggs, grits, and steak. I'm looking at this nigga like, we looking at this nigga like, what? We like this nigga tripping. So we laughing and shit like that. He's like, I'm telling you, got the little blunt in his head. Telling you, cuz, that shit'll work, cuz. Invest in eggs, grits, and steak. Now, the point I'm about to get at is, Everybody have wild dreams, but they don't get wilder than another rapper or another dead person coming in your dreams that you don't fucking know. I don't know Nipsey Hussle from a can of paint. I'm just not, not just not listening to him. I start listening, start listening to Nipsey Hussle when he just not died. I listened to him. He had, I'm sorry. He had an, uh, uh. A song way back then, probably in 2009, that's the only song I heard from him then. And I never watched 
I started listening to Nipsey Hussle uh, about Problem. I was listening to Problem and I was listening to Nipsey Hussle, but them two was on the same track. That's how I knew Nipsey Hussle. But I was listening to Problem. Everybody know Problem. So, the point I'm trying to get at is that's the weirdest fucking dream. Like I said, I don't know Nipsey from a can of paint. But this dude, like I said, I have not reached out to him, I have not prayed for him, I have not told Nipsey Hussle, can you pre, can you please, pre- excuse my slur, can you please send me a slot, sign to help me, I'm sorry, I'm just, I guess I'm overwhelmed right now, I ain't tell him to send me a sign that you can help me, I'm miserable right now, I did not send him no type of sign, but this motherfucker literally came in my dreams, Talking about invest. I think that was the word. He probably was an angel that came down in my dreams and just tell me. Don't know why. I don't know why. Just tell me, Chris, you about to get some money in your pocket. You about to make this shit last. God could have sent my mama, my daddy, my granddaddy, my aunties. Because they in heaven too. But God sent Nipsey Hussle. Talking about some eggs, grits, and steak restaurant. That's not... I'm not tripping over the restaurant part. I think he came in my dreams to tell me, Yo, my mans, you about to get a little chump change in your pocket? Invest. Shout out to Nipsey Hussle for coming in my dreams. I'm not trying to, you know... Ride them or nothing or trying to get them big ups to something. But I just felt like I need to tell y'all that story. Because like I said, I don't know this man from a can of paint. Why did Nipsey Hussle come in my dreams? That's all I want to know. I wish I was cool with Snoop Dogg. I wish I was cool with E-40. I wish I was cool with YG. I will tell them that. Your boy just came in my dream talking about some eggs, grits, and steak restaurant. What do that mean? I can't call Uncle Snoop. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him from a candy paint either. If anything, I could have had a dream talking to Uncle... uh, You know, I can talk to Snoop Dogg. And he'll tell me about that shit. But Snoop don't invest. And when I was thinking... Because I watched the funeral of Nipsey Hussle. And... And I remember what Snoop Dogg was saying. He's so, he so you know, invest. He liked to invest shit. He liked to tell people you, ain't, you know, he liked to tell people you need to invest. And what was so crazy when I was watching that funeral, what Snoop Dogg said, he's like, this nigga came out of nowhere. We drinking on the forty, smoking the blunt, and he was like, and. The exact same thing he said was the exact same thing, but he did not have no 40. He just had the blunt. He said, yo, he, he was chilling with Nipsey Hussle. They were sitting down, drinking the 40, smoking the blunt, and he was smoking. And he like, how the way he said it, how the way he said it is exactly how the way he said it in my dreams. Like, he had the blunt like this, and he was like, yo, Snoop, dog, I think you should make... I, sh- I think you should make it a music part and call it Doggy Land. I'm like, that's the exact same action and movement and talkative, whatever you want to call it, that he said to me. The same conversation he said to Snoop Dogg was the kind of like the exact same conversation that he said to me. But this nigga talking about some eggs, grits, and damn steak restaurant. I just feel like I need to share that and, you know, put this on Facebook and I'm going to put this on YouTube. I know y'all ain't been seeing me in a while, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to say that. I wish I could put this on Instagram, but I don't know how to put this on the Instagram TV. I'm going to try to put this on Instagram and try to tag Snoop Dogg and, you know, see what his, see what his take about it is. Because like I said, I don't, I don't know this dude. You know what I'm saying? I can understand if Nipsey Hussle was still alive to this day. Then I would have been like, okay, that's just a crazy dream. But Nipsey Hussle is deceased. 
So that tells me he was an angel that came down to send me a message. Don't know what the message is, but I know what he told me to invest in. Eggs, grits, and a and steak restaurant. So in my mind, I'm thinking he's telling me a sign. Yo, little homie, you about to get some money in your pocket. Don't blow that shit all at once. Invest in yourself. Thank you, Nipsey Hustle, for the message. I will take that consideration. But I'm not making no eggs and grits steak restaurant. Peace, y'all.